Hello everyone, I'm just going to tell you where I'm at at the moment. Um, the, there's three things, there's three things that have um, had a big impact on me. Um, the first one is the number of doctors and professors talking about potential cures for coronavirus and the censorship issues around that. That for me is massive. You know, uh, Yale University professor, Oxford University professors in epidemiology being censored. Um, they get on some platforms and not on others. There's a trust issue there, a reputational issue for new media platforms like YouTube, Twitter and Google and Facebook. Um, the second thing is somebody I know who's a family doctor who said, who I trust and respect said, this is getting dark. Um, thirdly, are the people contacting me with videos who have never lost trust before in the government or the mainstream media uh, really starting to question it, which leads to obviously a destabilisation of trust. We need to trust to guide and lead us when it comes to our future. And then finally is the stories of suffering, you know, um, 12 year old, a 14 year old committing suicide, um, old people dying alone people that fought for, the, for this country, which is why I'm um, very happy to support Keep Britain Free, because Keep Britain Free is about our freedom and people who fought for our freedom. This is uh, a campaign that I think at the moment has to happen on new media. And by new media, I mean Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Not mainstream media yet, but I do think that they are going to come on board. I do think things are going to change. I think that we have all the tools right now to make a difference to influence those around us. And journalism now is really about trust and influence. And I think we might hear something like a, a Yale University professor talking about potential cures for coronavirus, but we'll look at the logo first. So it might be Fox News or Breitbart News. Instead of listening to the professionals who have found out pl those platforms, they've, uh, they've tried other platforms but those are the platforms that they're being broadcast on. So it's a trust war, it's not an information war. Um, and I just want a collaboration between old and new media for the sake of those people that are suffering. Please, uh, you know, the, the people I used to work with at Sky, BBC, ITV, uh, numerous other mainstream media organisations, you know, please reflect what's going on. Listen to the public and put those stories out of the suffering um, when it comes to so many people. Otherwise, that trust is going to erode in your reputation and you will suffer. You will suffer. There won't be a future for your company. There won't be a future for you to have any influence in the future if you don't listen and reflect how people are feeling.